There should be a, a ELO arena. There should be an arena ELO. It must suck to be Team Wood Games. Let me be like a frigid crook. Like the wet bandits. Because like they, they came out with ranked. Ranked has been a lot of fun. And then immediately I'm like, change ranked. <laughs> Had like one week of the honeymoon. And now I'm like, ranked is cooked. Fix it. Fix it. Holy. Hey, uh, was anyone who, who was a, a Midwestern emo, DL Guiga, you weren't on my, um, on my Cody Rigsby pop ride today, but uh, Moomin Rider was. I got to learn Spanish. Bad Bunny really has a song called Titty Me Pregunto. This is the kind of, this kind of trash they're playing on the radio. The hell is Titty Me Pregunto? I know what it sounds like in English. My ass got to learn Spanish, man. It sounds, it sounds nasty. And I'm not talking about Janet Jackson. It means auntie. It means me auntie pregnant. Well, good for them. I don't know their business. <laughs> Maybe they've been trying for a long time. I gotta be honest with you, the Hoopo bird did some amazing stuff for us last time. We gotta give it a chance. I'm not even taking a lemur. That's like how, well, no, we gotta, don't be stupid. I think this might be a radio situation though, as crazy as it seems. I mean, we're, we're definitely cooking up something a little unusual here. Also, I have only seen like two pictures of Bad Bunny in my entire life. Every time I see him, I just think of, uh, of Jay. Am I the only insane person? I feel like Bad Bunny and Jay look like they could be siblings. At least when Bad Bunny's wearing the, the 90s uh, Kevin from the Backstreet Boys sunglasses. You gotta take it. There's no other, there's no other way. If we don't fight to the death, they will kill us both. Not Jay Leno. Jay, Jay Wolves at my door. Jay Leno's a different guy, I think. That's the highest compliment I've ever received. It's just, uh, you know, I'm glad you think so. It wasn't meant as a compliment nor an insult. It's just meant as a statement of fact. I mean, I think he's a, he's a handsome looking dude. I think you're a handsome looking dude. But even more noteworthy than that. You guys look pretty similar, in my opinion. Let me take a garlic press here. One of these. I'm not totally sold on the, on the pug here. I think he had his chance and he didn't get there. It's so tempting, man. <laughs> I ran the anti-scumbag team, and now I'm like, let's run the, the pro-scumbag team. And you know what? I immediately reap what I sow. Never mind, their team is fucked up, bro! Forget it. We'll just, we'll run Porcupine instead. And you're right, it should be set up probably like that. Okay, none blobfish left beef. Let's move position two into position one. You never know, that could screw up a garlic for a long time. Could also like definitely ruin our lives maybe. Never mind, everything's completely fine. Yeah, I don't know what, what Tito Mi Pregunto means. It's not my area of expertise. I like them both, quite frankly. It means my aunt asked me. I mean, you don't hear me bragging about my aunt asking me stuff. She'd be asking me all the time. Um, how's school going? When I was still of the age to be in school. 
it's the number one thing she asked me for sure. I, I know this looks crazy. We're running nonstop eggplants here just to screw up bespoke positioning. I definitely don't want to see their blobfish buffing their damn porcupine. That's that's kind of nasty. Never mind. We still own you somehow. I love the idea of using an alpaca to finance a pivot. But you got to do it right. It's got to be like this. Should have bought the crow first. Freeze both of these lads. I'm looking for units that don't exist again. Okay, for one round, we take the L. And I'm not talking about Chicago, D.L. Guiga. I'm not talking about Chicago this time. Are there one-ups this week? No. If I were talking about Chicago, you would know that I'm talking about Chicago, okay? Because I would be, to be honest with you, pretty positive, I think. I would say that it's perhaps the third most noteworthy city in the United States. I, I know if you live in Chicago, you probably take offense to that, but I mean, New York is number one without a doubt. We gotta start from a position of reality. And then number two, I do, me personally, I gotta say Los Angeles, just because of the cultural output of Hollywood. Here's an interesting idea. Sell me. Buy me. Pill me. Watch this. Buy me. Sell me. Now you got a 2xp chocolate here. Lionfish me. Take that up to level two. And I don't really want any of these. I mean, the oyster would be a lot of gold, but I think this week gold is a little overrated. My two cents. Just my two cents. DL Guiga, just relax on the Boston slander, okay? That's my job. I don't know if this weekly is going to cook. But it's certainly, it's an interesting way to play the game. Freeze me. Level 2 alpaca is a scam this week. I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you. You want to see like a moose. A moose is, it's just what you want this week. Sure, level 2 crocodile will be nice. This is, feels like a more important round for us though. Like we need to, I recognize we're doing nothing right now, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You need a saber tooth for certain. It's hard to get rid of you. I also kind of need a hyena. I guess I'd rather buy the saber tooth next round. I know this looks crazy, man, but they, they, if we wait around, we will get a level two saber tooth. Oh, but it's going to get unfrozen. No! Okay, well, we're cooked on this one. That's, it, you know, well known. Roll me. I do feel like a skunk goes crazy this week, but I also feel like we need something a little, a little more. I mean, this is, it's a bold play. It's, it's hard to imagine it coming to fruition. Imagine, though. <laughs> Sabretooth. That's tough. I don't think this one's going to work, lads. My tiger! You 
two piece of detritus? Okay, well, we were cooking, but we overcooked, I'd say. Play again. I will say I think double mosquito goes crazy in the early game. Be a iconic masseuse. Where'd you get that hoodie, NL? I love the off-white color. Thanks. I believe that in the industry they refer to it as yellow. Picked it up from a local store called H&M. I don't know what it stands for. Something Pacific Northwestern, without a doubt. You know what? I'm not investing in a silk moth. We know it's a dead end. Keep me running. That shit ain't yellow. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I promise you it is. We have H&M in the UK. I always like to see a local business succeed like that. Sell me. Run me. Garlic press me. Yeah, for some reason, by the way, I know this is like a... It's a librarian, uh, I wouldn't say a pet peeve. I would say it's something the librarian enjoys remarking upon. I don't know why we had the Mexico filter on yesterday. And I don't know why we don't have the Mexico filter on today. To be honest with you. Sometimes my camera just has a mind of its own. I guess maybe it's the color of the shirt or something, changing the auto balance, or maybe I'm tan today. Give me a guinea fowl, you piece. I'm, I'm into the sniper builds this week. I think we should, we should keep the insane builds going. I think we should take this. I think we should take this. And then I think we should run, ideally, a level two Lemur next turn would go insane. Jim Carrey voice from the cable guy. I love this game. Okay. Pill me. Garlic press me. Buy me and then just relax. I know we could we could certainly run uh Yeah, that's fine. We could certainly run Parrot behind uh the dolphin, but I don't know. I, I like the idea of getting some early XP. This seems horrendous. <laughs> porcupine, huh? Alright, I'm gonna have to write that one down. Apparently porcupine's pretty good this week. Who knew? Delightfully devilish. Well, 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 in many ways. <clears throat> I shouldn't say this because I don't like people using it against me, but Emu Sabretooth is busted. Listen, you're not wrong. All I'm gonna say, holy fuck, we got a draw. This is a dream come true. And also Corpse Slime, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. All I'm going to say, okay, is that for me personally, everything pales in comparison to the power. I'm not going to level you yet. We need, we need something more transformative. Everything pales in comparison to the power sure, of getting a guinea fowl or a porcupine on turn three. If you, if you get that, then you can start to talk about the late game. But I wouldn't start making any late game plans unless, uh, unless you manage to find yourself in that ecosystem. Like every team we lose to in the mid game is either guinea fowl or porcupine. It's, it's a slap in the face. I don't need you yet. We, we take you next round. We get a tier six out of it. Come on. I mean, something is popping the fuck off. Give me a skunk. I'll take you for a second. Maybe I'll take you a little, I don't know yet, okay? 
Something is popping the fuck off next round. Okay, this is a, I, I, I can't hate the player, okay? But I can hate the game. I do appreciate they mix it up a little bit here. They went guinea fowl and porcupine instead of just guinea fowl or porcupine. Daring today, aren't we? Now, give me this. We're still gonna go garlic. So you can definitely go hyena and try to, and hope your snipers work for yourself. You could also get a level two gorilla out there ASAP, which sounds nasty. I don't think we have a full like sniping setup yet. I think we gotta, we gotta embrace this. Also known as Tranquility. And then still continue to be annoying. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe there is a sniper team. I would, I would still like to take a hyena, but I need a moose to back it up, I think. And Rex Mechanica. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. Much appreciated. Another porcupine guinea fowl. You love to see it. People who say they love this weekly are not beating the guinea fowl uh, love allegations, and that's fine. It's up to you. Rex Mechanica, thank you again. Thank you. Okay, six wins. We're not going to cry about it. Still feeling pretty solid. If we have to. if You know what? Well, if we have to, we have to. I would love some form of scaling at some point, though. I mean, I could sell a lemur, put a wolverine out there, and then get a little funky with it. Okay, interesting. A guinea fowl. I haven't seen too much of the guinea fowl this week. Is it, is it considered like a good unit? It's pretty much expected. And okie doey. Okie dokie. Thank you as well. Thank you. It's like Sabretooth is like non-negotiable. It's that good. But I also feel, I mean, Lemur can obviously get out of here. We don't have a Scaler. We could sell a Tiger. Maybe we can give it a round. I mean, just without a Moose. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost without a Moose. Okay, okay. I don't know. I think we're going to get stuck at 6 or 7. I don't think we're getting to 10. But the snipes might be a little funny. Also, like, I just... <laughs> Team Wood. I'm just throwing this out. Do you see what you've done? It's been like 9 rounds of, of a guinea fowl team in a row. It's too much. You're, I don't think I've ever seen an overcooked weekly this much. One animal is the, the only thing that dominates. It's crazy. I'm going Sabretooth. I still think it's the right way. I mean, I, I don't think anything's going to get us there. I think if anything was the right way, it would be this. Okay, see now, there's the flip side. Is like the first team we see that doesn't have a guinea fowl just gets lethal. So of course you're gonna run a guinea fowl every time you see it. Why wouldn't you? You'd have you'd have to be stupid not to. I get it now. All right. <laughs> oh! Just nothing that feels that. I know that it's asynchronous multiplayer, but you can eat my asynchronous multiplayer as far as I'm concerned. Oh. Give Hyena a chance. We ran a Hyena in our first arena run. Let me hear a second arena run. Don't. S I gotta take this for anti snipe potential. Okay. 
can live with it. The problem is the guinea fowl shows up at, in all likelihood, like fucking turn three. And then the hyena shows up at turn 500. This is not good. <laughs> You'd have to check my math on that one, but yeah, okay. I mean, we got eight. I think we, we did okay against some guinea fowl teams. I gotta become what I hate. I think it's the only way. I have to get a guinea fowl, but only use that to live until we get a hyena. And then remove the guinea fowl from the ecosystem. Maybe a plump housewife. <clears throat> but also, I need to get a guinea fowl. You, this is the same way people say, like, just get a hyena. It's like, okay, but like, okay, just pick a number between one and ten. Six? Wrong, bitch. It was four. Now we go again. Four? Okay, Origin got it. <laughs> I don't have a counter to that. Me going all in with my channel points every time Apollo runs a pick a number between one and ten bet and then every single time being surprised when I lose. <laughs> Okay, this is, we are so fucking due for a guinea fowl. I'll accept a porcupine. What the fuck is wrong with you? They should just have it on, you gotta hot fix the weekly this week. You might as well just have it on turn three, on level up, you always get a guinea fowl and a porcupine to choose from. That's it, okay? That's fine. But like, can we, can we put everybody on an even footing at the very least? Try to figure something out. Like this, it's an abandoned situation. Let's let's just count it. I know it's insufferable, but I'm I'm leaning into my rage arc right now. So that's one one loss, one round versus guinea fowl, one loss. That's kind of a nice round, I'll admit. We got to see if we get a guinea fowl. It's no guinea fowl. Honestly, a blobfish does go crazy, but I kind of feel like flea is our guinea fowl counter. But we can't sell the duckling into the flea on this turn. We can sell the duck into the... Oh, you motherfucker, you. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to go a little crazy here. We're going to sell the duckling into the blobfish, and then we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to pill the blobfish right away. We're going to hopefully get the blobfish to level two, at which point we'll pill it. And then take a unit to level two quickly. I, can I just say thank you to Are These Pokemon for running a team that was not guinea fowl and also for not choosing garlic? Like, they, you did us a great service there. I'm not going to forget that, okay? I still think a flea goes nutty. To be honest with you, I think a tropical fish could go a little crazy too. I understand you're like, what are you doing with the order here? It is what it is, brother. I just don't see, I mean, maybe on a tropical fish we could see some value there. That's what we like. And maybe we're, maybe we're talking dolphin pineapple at some point. I don't know. I don't know. No guinea fowl on turn five. Oh, they got one, but they just got one. So you're saying there's a... Hypothetically, there could have been a chance. Tar is pretty good too, but I'm not mad at it. I know it's a little crazy. I mean, I have, I've lost my mind a little bit this week. You would lose your mind too, I think, if you put yourself in my position. Opening up the versus screen and seeing eight guinea fowls every single time. One of them's mine, but mine's the worst because of my own lack of skill. Let's go! I'm going crazy. Get out of here. 
I'm overpaying. Moose me. Moose me. Interesting. It's interesting. Honestly, I want to do this because fuck you. No, wait. Just chill. Take this first instead. You're about to get pilled, so we might as well set it up like this. Don't go four squad yet. You're not going to sell your best unit yet. Yeah, we'll get the crocodile to level two next time, or maybe we'll get another level up somehow. We'll get a moose. You never know. The haters rolled me. I ain't write them back yet. Hyena. Tar. Ruin some lives. Interesting. <laughs> what do you think? It's definitely unusual. Oh, get flipped on! I'm so mad because the advice of just get a hyena actually like it bore fruit this time. That's so annoying. <laughs> well, let's not ignore stats. Skunk is pretty good, but I feel like flea is also like it's kind of slept on this week, kind of underrated. Sabretooth. Sabretooth instead of... I mean, Sabretooth is just great. You can maybe take that instead of a flea. You could, you could throw a panther into the mix. I don't know, man. I mean, it's hard to change the team when it's, it's winning so nicely right now. I definitely feel like the panther is, like, not ignorable. Obviously, you should go here. You should take this. Just keep the panther frozen for a minute here. I think we might just ride it out for a second. Oh, a tomato on the panther is mighty interesting as well. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh! Oh, okay, we drew. Whatever. You're just not quite a good enough sniper. So you know what? This is a huge buy. We got the, the absolute worst animals we could. So at, at the very least, that only costs us one gold because of the buy sell. But it kind of makes me a little bit upset. Not a lot, but a little bit for sure. Run it back. <laughs> yes! Don't want it. Probably want it. Oh! Well, well, well. What the hell? We lost to a guinea fowl team that was stronger than me. This is outrageous. I don't even know. I mean, you should, I don't know. I don't know. Just keep you here. You need a pita. It would be nice if the hyena went before the snipers. God, it's just, it, nothing beats seeing the guinea fowl team just get rolled over, man. Give me this. You know what? Just toss me this. Oh, wait, this is not how the Panthers tomato is going to work. <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought it would work like before it got the chili. Alas, 
I don't really want you in position one, though. I think the, the chili is kind of, well, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, man, let's give it a try. Looking for a pita. You know what? Why not? But then also a pita. A pita, please. A pita. No pita, but possibly level three crocodile next turn. Usually, we'd be excited to do a lot more damage than that. <laughs> this is, we're cooked on this one. It was a me but stronger type situation. Yeah, okay, okay, let's just, honestly, let's just let it ride, brother. I'm happy we're on eight. They got their own tar-based situation. My units have been sniped. Their units have been sniped. I honestly have no idea what happens, but we made it through. Okay. Two chocolates. And that's not two chocolates. Those aren't pillows. There's a chance. Please do not uh, come to our chat and post your homework questions, okay? Get it! Good game! Good game! You hyena snake using motherfucker! Don't come to our chat and post homework questions, okay? That's what chat GPT is for. I'm a neuroscientist. Don't answer their question. It's below your pay grade, okay? You shouldn't even be watching my stream. Shouldn't you be doing brain surgery right now? I'm sorry to say, and you did it to yourself. It's a catch-22. Your skills are too valuable for you to take time off. You should have gone into a field where it, your commitment and value to society was lower. Then people wouldn't be so mad at you enjoying a little break or a tasty treat or something like that. But unfortunately, you are a brain surgeon, and as a result, I need to tell you to get back to work. There's people waiting for all sorts of therapies that you provide, okay? Yeah, if you're a web dev, people will beg you to take a vacation. No, honey, I can't change a vacation. We're in the middle of a six-week sprint to change the font from Times New Roman to Times New Roman italicized. How about a, I'll be a skilled programmer. Hey, we're, no, 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 I'm, honey, I can't go on vacation this summer. We have a really important project. We're rounding the square edges on all of the buttons on our website. We're moving the position of the button that everybody already knows where it is within the enterprise. We're moving it to the other side of the screen and collectively costing the company thousands of hours in labor uh, from people that can't find the button and then have to submit tickets to tech reports saying that the button is now missing. Yeah, but it makes more sense logically to have it in the top right corner in the hamburger menu instead of having it just sitting there on the top of the screen like it's not even thematically fitting with the, the layout of the CSS. Sorry, honey, I can't go on vacation this summer. We're moving around the order of all of the elements on the web page so that when you use tab to auto go to the next field, it starts you at fucking name, then it takes you down to zip code, then it takes you up to address, then it goes to phone number, then it takes you to the, the capture that says I am not a robot. This shit doesn't even go up and down left to right anymore. <laughs> Makes me sick, dude. Makes me want to throw up. I'm going crazy on this one. I'm not mad at the web devs. I know, like, it's their boss that's asking. Well, here's the thing. Like, you know, what do you do as a web dev? If you make the perfect website that looks beautiful, your ass isn't required anymore. So your boss asks you to change the damn, tighten up the graphics on page three. You're like, yes, sir. I understand. 
you got to do what you got to do. You know, your boss says, hey, I know we've just been using honey yellow for all of our uh, marketing materials so far, but we just patented a new hexadecimal code, and this is going to be the unified color for our brand for the rest of time. We need to redo and reprint all of our marketing materials to change the, sh the shade of yellow to be like 3% less yellow. It's going to take us 10 months. And you're going to get reprimanded severely if you happen to use uh, the wrong hexadecimal code. Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Oh! How could you? <laughs> and yet, how could you not? Oh, I would probably just sell you immediately, honestly. I think I might go crazy, Mon. I might buy you and sell you immediately. Pop you out here as a 2 8 with garlic and get ready to taste my blade, quite frankly. Get ready to taste it. Nice guinea fowl, face rider. I love it. <laughs> yeah, maybe this weekly is actually good. That's damn true. I'm going to leave you for a second. I'll take you out here. Just give you a little buff, of course. I'm not that big into the silk moth anymore. We'll keep this fucker around. Ready to taste my blade. Uh, just hit the guinea fowl, please. I'm God's chosen son. I love that for me. Just for now, give me one of those. We'll see how it goes. feels damn good. It feels damn good. After what we've been through this week. Oh, man. Oh, you shouldn't have. You know what? Sure. We'll double up on it early. Why not? Who? You know what? I think we really need you. I think we'll put a blowfish up here instead. A little blowfish with garlic? Yeah, that sounds nice right now. You know what? Maybe we'll throw in a little sniper. We, we can beat you two different ways now. I'm keeping the pill frozen. They're going to blobfish us at some point. It's not like we like any of the other foods. Him, me, him, me. Beautiful. I didn't even get to see my dog that time. You guys are right, this is a good weekly. I'm starting to see the value of it. It'd be funny, maybe if, I don't know, you just push someone around like Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20. Didn't you say that anyone using guinea fowl this week is like running double blue pump shotguns back in Fortnite meta? Yes. Um, and if I had the opportunity back then, I would have run double blue Pump shotguns, for sure, but unfortunately my accuracy was not that high. I typically... typically missed quite frequently. As a result, it wasn't the... the be-all, end-all that I wish that it were. I will, well, I will. I wanna push you down. Well, I will, well, I will. I would like to take you for granted. Give me a blobfish, you piece. I'd like to take you for granted. Well, 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 I will. <laughs> The hell? Double Falcon? Is this allowed? Well, seems like you're trying to run a cool team there. Unfortunately, your argument is invalid because I have a guinea fowl, so... Mm. <laughs> Blobfish me? No? Okay. Uh, I don't really need it, but uh, I don't think it's that necessary, quite frankly. Pug is kind of tempting. You know what? I think we've established at this point that uh, that's not what I meant to buy. <laughs> I meant to buy the tar. <laughs> I uh, made a mistake. I've made an error, an error in judgment. 
And unfortunately, I have a guinea fowl. So now real chocolate exists. I don't need your ass anymore. Obviously, you're gone. Let me see what we get off the level. That, that could change the game for us here. Give me garlic press. It's going to sound insane. Freeze me just in case we get a blobfish. <laughs> what, I, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a hyena. So now, I think, what if we just sold our guinea fowl? Because to be honest, I, I appreciate what it's done for us. But it didn't get us there. What if next turn we sold our guinea fowl and just started running a sniper team instead? And then said like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then we start shitting on the guinea fowl teams and going boom. You had the audacity to run a guinea fowl in this day and age? What's wrong with you, bro? Hang on, we're eating shit. Okay. I know what we must do. Man makes best term, turn of all time. Ask to stay. Well, guinea fowl team, bro, really? Come on, what are you doing out here? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, but next time, you're cooked. Next time, it's over for you. We don't need a pita on this squad. Don't know, we could do better. This is, it's more important than the guinea fowl at this stage of our lives. I promise you that. If anything, sorry. Wouldn't see you, wouldn't want to be you. You're right, I probably shouldn't have a skunk. Oh, please. Or, I mean, a skunk is fine. I don't think it's what we're looking for. Oh! Honestly, I don't need a, a full squad to siphon buffs away from units that actually matter. Sorry. It's the damn truth. All right. Well, fuck you, moose. Eat shit. Whatever. Who cares? You will never catch my ass eating a purple grape. Honestly, that's damn true. Green grapes, they made purple grapes no longer relevant. I'd agree with you 100%, quite frankly. And I'd defend to the death your, your right to say it. I'd love to have that, but unfortunately, we there's, there's just no way. Thank you so much. Purple grapes are better? Nah, man. Nah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be caught dead having that opinion, I'll tell you that much. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. You're an adult with thoughts and feelings just like anybody else, but... Do they even make purple seedless? I mean, the number one thing I want out of a grape is seedless. Yes. They do? All right, I take it all back. I gotta revisit purple grapes then. I take it all back. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. Oh! I don't care. I'm going crazy mode. Go ahead, brother. Oh, I wish, I wish. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, you guys are right. The ranked is fucked this week. Arena is crazy, though. 